so Lucy, in May of 2020, uh, you wrote a blog post for the Guild's blog at reportersnotebook.org called South Africa's Lockdown is Crippling Craft Beer. Um, like so many other countries around the world, uh, the COVID-19 virus has really impacted South Africa and continues to do so now that we are into 2021. Uh, after having that story published in May, could you maybe bring us up to speed with what's happened since in these many months? Yeah, so it initially didn't seem as bad as we, as we thought, actually. There was um, a survey that said 90% of the craft breweries said that they were in danger of closing if the restrictions continued. But we've had nowhere near that, that number of closures. So the original, the reason um, it, was, it was so bad for the, for the brewing industry here is because we had a complete ban on the production uh, transport sale of alcohol so they couldn't even they couldn't even brew legally legally <laughs> um and that i think the original ban lasted for nine weeks and then at the start of june sales were opened and then again in july they closed them so that, i think then we had another four weeks between july and august and um it's been you know we haven't had that many brewery closures um yet the thing is, I think a lot of them are busy season, busiest season is now because obviously it's summer in South Africa at the moment. So sort of November, December, January, like dry January is not really a really thing here because people are still kind of in beach mode normally. Um, so I think a lot of the brewers are waiting until the end of the year and thinking if we can just get a, a good season, we can pull through this. And then last week, last Monday, a week ago today, last Monday, um, the government announced the alcohol, another alcohol ban which is really devastating to the brewers. It was just before New Year's Eve and they're going to do quite a lot of sales. And um, there's now, there's, there's been quite a feeling of, uh, I, I think in a way, sometimes people enjoy the hustle. You know, it's like, okay, I've got to make this work and people changing their business plan the whole time. And now it's just one flow after another. And I think people are feeling quite uh, despondent as we go into the new year. So it's it's not a great way to start 2021 for the craft brewers in South Africa. To give context, what happens there when there is this blanket ban on alcohol production sales for people who do consume alcohol? What happens after that goes into effect? Well, so the very first time they announced it a few days in advance, so you can imagine there was massive panic buying. There was nothing in the stores. People were buying by the case, you know, buying wine by the case, everything. Um, and people stocked up for the first few weeks and then they extended and extended. Um, there was very little in the way of sort of underground sales the first time around. And then the second time, we can't actually continue, um, you know, people can't, they realise that, They've, they've done their best and they can't continue operating as a business unless they make some sales. So in the second uh, the second ban, which was July last year, um, WhatsApp groups, there were, there were price lists circulating. You could get, I mean, alcohol had never been easier to get actually, <laughs> more expensive than usual. But um, we, we saw, yeah, the, there were a lot of blank silver cans just floating around that you know with no brewery name on there there were a lot of wine bottles with no labels on um and there was a and this was the one good thing that came out of it there was a huge huge increase in the interest in home brewing so you know and that was the one potential positive because i think if people had never been that interested in beer you know craft beer is tiny in south africa you know it's one percent of beer sales if that so all the people who are normally drinking the sort of, you know, the mainstream lagers now start homebrewing and they start to appreciate beer and hopefully like the craft beer um, industry can grab some of those people and, and keep hold of them. So that was one thing that, that did come out of it. So, so far this time, we're not seeing any of the, uh, of the bootlegging and such yet because it's only been a week. But if they, so this is supposed to go on until the 15th of January. If they extend past that, I think once again, you know, people, and it's not just breweries and wineries, it's restaurants and bars and everybody that basically makes a living from it. The big problem is there's no support from the government now. So, um, so I have a friend who runs a very, uh, quite a large and busy restaurant um, focusing on craft beer and no one, it's a place you go for a drink, you know, I mean, you go to eat as well, but it's, um, people are not going. So, but they have no help from the government. There's no grants, there's no um, support. So it's like, if they close, they can't pay the staff. Well, if they open, they can't pay the staff either. So it's quite desperate. It's really quite, 
um, you know, people are sort of putting a brave face on it, but it's really getting quite worrying. You know, let's take that uh, and maybe put it both in context of what you wrote about back in May and learned uh, in the months since. So you described it as the potential to cripple the craft beer industry there. Having seen what took place throughout 2020 when these bans happened, and now, of course, you know, this is a potential two week period that we're in right now. Um, but of course, that could be extended. What are the ways that you see this maybe impacting things in the near term, but then potentially, you know, talking a month or two down the line, whether or not this, this ban continues? Yeah, I think, um, so we saw about a dozen breweries close last year, maybe a little more, but to be fair, some of them were probably going to close anyway. I do, I, I can, I've kind of got an endangered list in my, in my database of breweries and it's growing. And I can see a lot of people just, you know, it's, it's been too difficult. It's been too difficult. It's been nine months and it's, it, it, they can't sort of carry on. A lot of the brewers as well, maybe it was not exactly a side hustle. It was what they wanted to be doing, but they always had, you know, a lot of them work in IT, for example, and so then they sort of went back to uh, IT contracting work on the side. And now I, I can see I've been to a couple of breweries recently, and you can see they're not going to make it. You know, the the I think the heart is there, but it's just it's they've they've pivoted to use the word of the year last year too many times, and they just can't keep going. So I would I would predict by sort of especially if this carries on, if it's only until January fifteenth, you know, I think. It won't make that much. I don't think it'll make a huge difference to restaurants. We've seen restaurants closing this year because now they've missed one of the busiest weeks of, of their year. They are allowed to open, but no one's going because if you can't have a glass of wine or a beer with your dinner, you know, people don't want to sit and drink tea with the dinners, unfortunately. Um, but if it's only until the 15th, uh, I think the brewers will be okay. Uh, the thing is, most people don't think it's only going to be till the 15th. The, the reason for the alcohol ban is because if South Africa has quite a big problem with binge drinking and the, and you know, there's a lot of um, hospital beds that are taken up by um, alcohol related. So whether it's drink driving or fight, you know, fights or whatever. So a lot of beds are taken up by that. And if our numbers continue on the, on the traje trajectory they are now, I can't see them lifting the ban on the 15th. So then I think they'll miss the busiest bit of, 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 you know, I mean, the original ban came in winter. That wasn't so bad. Now they're going to miss the summer sales. And yeah, I, th I think we'll see quite a lot more people closing doors this year, unfortunately.